Hello everyone, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, the Remind DLC has come out along with version 1.09. Uh, I don't know what's in it, really. I mean, I know a bit, but I don't know a ton. But all I know is that I have all my friends on social media going, Oh my god, this changes everything. You will not be able to avoid spoilers. I was gonna hold back on it, but then I was like, after that... After being told that this is so big, you won't be able to avoid it. Uh, I'm like, yeah, let's hop in. Uh, before we hop into the actual, because I think it's a main menu thing to get to the new stuff. I could be wrong. I don't even know how this works. Um, but I do want to check out there's new abilities, which is cool. And I did get, uh, by completing one of the two challenges, one of the two new Keyblades added. I have not beat this game on, on, uh, on Critical. But uh, maybe I'll go back through and do it later? Because uh, I've heard that, it, that it, it really helps. The new abilities makes Critical a lot more fun. Maybe I'll check that out after. But for now, we're going to hop in. Oh, also, I have not beat the secret boss or did any of the battle gens which get you the reports. I should probably do that. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because I bet you that the new bosses here are will be converted. We'll no longer be compatible. Oh, well, that's fine. That's interesting, actually. Well, that's good. At least it's compatible. Um, I bet you that the the new bosses in this will be much more difficult than the secret bosses, or the, they're much less difficult. Wait, what am I saying? The the original secret boss, which is just a re-colored heartless, uh, will be much easier than the uh, than the ones in this. But we'll see. He eat a pow pow. All right. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Meanwhile, Riku's just hiding somewhere going like, Hey, what about me, guys? What about me? Um, okay, Dawn Till Dusk unlocked. The item will automatically... Whoa, okay. Uh, to play, go to the downloadable content. Okay. When you select a new game, the premium menu will use new features that aid gameplay or add challenges. Okay. Well, let's start off by loading our original save data. And ch oh, Dawn Till Dusk is the pre-order keyblade that I got. I was like, why? Why do I? Why do I remember this? But that's not what I think it is. That's they had a they had a sale where it was like for you get the that's the Amazon exclusive keyblade, uh, just a recolor, and um, I bought it for like ninety nine cents or something. So. So I was like, wait, that's not one of the ones that I thought we got, but okay. Um, I do want to see the new power uh, abilities. Because from what I, I saw a gif on Twitter showing like the new combo string that you get with all your attacks on. Boy, it's longer and boy, it's more wide hitting. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, let's hop in. I'm also going to turn down my volume. I don't have a remote near me. Uh, so let me just go up here. Oh, there we go. That's good. So we can get Oathkeeper. Sadly, we cannot get Oblivion. Okay, the battle gates. These are the things. Uh, so we'll teleport you to, to, to lands, but if you prevail, you'll be um, rewarded with battle experience and certain photogenic qualities. Has to be so, uh, in town. well, we got all of our, if I recall, new abilities have been added for Sora. If I recall, we got all that, right? We got, because we got all the lucky emblems. We took all them pictures that we want. Well, well, no, I guess some of those are for the, the uh, other missions there. Um, so let's go to Sora here. So we got Quick Slash. Oh my god, there's just a ton more, huh? They just gave you a, a bunch more. Last Charge. Okay, well, that's pretty good. You know what, let's turn off, let's see here, is there any other ones that I can probably turn off for now, so I can give them some, uh, give that a go. Let's see, and is there any more here? Grand Magic, Attraction, Damage Control, mostly just these. Uh, so these are our reprisals, so I use Counter Kick, Final Blow, Risk Dodge, I think we've had all those. So, okay, so these are, yeah, parts of our new ones there. The only one that we have left is last... Uh, do we have any more? Um, AP boost. Well, we can get one. 
Because I remember when I was doing this last time, I'm like, there's really no reason to, to put the other ones on. So here's a starlight. And then this is the dawn till dusk that we got. So that's, again, it's just like a recolor there. Which is neat, but nothing amazing. Um, so let's see here. Is there any that we can turn off? Um, you know what? Focus Siphon, I honestly don't see myself using. So put that on. And uh, otherwise... We got Master Treasure Magnet. We don't need the other ones. Um. Well, I think we should be good to try this out at least. So let's see here. So our new combo is like... Ridiculously long. Like, actually ridiculously long. Um, so let us go, and we need to go to the Moogle shop, which I don't... Ah, uh, yeah, there's some here. Head on over here. Of course, this is the area where the DLC takes place in, so it's like... Boy, sure wonder... So, to play Remind, though, you have to go through the main menu, so, like, we're in a, we're in a whole different section. But, uh, I will definitely give Critical Mode a try in the future, uh, but not right now. For the fact that I... Well... I'm gonna try try I wonder if Remind has difficulties. I actually don't know. Sure are a lot of wall. Yep. Uh so let's see here. What'll it be? Traded in the proof of promises for Oathkeeper. Oathkeeper, Keyblade and Pure with Pure Light. Form changes light form and double form zero KP. Oh, what is what does that mean? That's interesting. Also I think Let's see here. Uh, where is it? Ultima Weapon is still maxed out. And Oathkeeper here. Okay, so you can still power it up. Let's see here. See what it gets as we level it up. Situation boost. Okay. Okay, let's see. Will we be able to go all the way? Will we be able to go all the way? Oh, almost, almost. It's a little bit more. But, like, that is, that one is how much? So, Ultima Weapon is 1313. 13. This one is, like, 1212. 12. So, it's actually almost on parity with, with, uh, with the Ultima Weapon. And plus, I mean, of course, look at it. It's, it's the classic, right? So is there enemies going to be here so I can give give it a go? Probably not. Boy, it's actually been a hot minute since I played this. As you can tell from me logging into this Let's Play and getting the thing saying, hey, you can now do stuff. Yeah, it might have been a little bit, actually. Uh, so yeah, let's head on, head on back then. Um... That's the I think that's a teleport. That's not the battle gen, right? What's this? Uh oh, this is. Oh, I completed this one. Well, we'll do this one, why not? This is the zero. I think they said there are f of course there's 13 of them. Of course there's 13 of them. What do you think it would be? What what other number would it be? It's always seven or thirteen. Alright, yeah, yeah. Let's let's give this another go, see how this goes. See how our new form is. Also, get get back to playing this game. Remembering how it actually goes. Okay, so first off, we got this. I forgot. You know what? Let's just finish it right away. Get them out of the way. What is light form? Okay. Is light form... Ooh, so you kind of warp around? Okay. Hmm. I want to see... Okay, this moveset's pretty good. It, oh, it's a little bit like, um... It's a little bit like, um... The, the, the Roxas boss fight. It's a little bit there. Magic Galvanizer, that's new. Okay, now we got double form. So now we are Roxas, and that's kind of sick. 
I wonder what it means to be zero KP. I wonder if there's anything that can tell me what that means, you know? We also got a finish there. Wow, this is actually such a ridiculously good move set. Okay, let's see the finish. Wow, okay. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Mm. Mm, that makes Ultima Weapon seem not as not as amazing, which is wild. Dope. Well, that's gonna make uh whatever I gotta deal with a bit easier, I think at least. Game? Even the game's like, yo, you kind of rock that, yo. Uh, we got no hurries to go worry about. So, uh, well, this is our newest one. What was Magic Galvanizer? We just unlocked that. I've only beat this game at level 46? Really? That's wild. What is Magic Galvanizer? Where's that? Magic Galvanizer. Increase the damage you deal in proportion to the length of your combo. Oh! Oh, da we've unlocked damage scaling, huh? But, re like, reverse damage scaling. Also, hey, look, there's a little... There's a little clown up there. Okay, well, we're gonna go back to the title screen. And we're gonna give a go to this, uh, Diggity Dank DLC. In so, uh, I did not get the, uh, the concert pack. Because, well, I don't... I don't care too much about watching concert videos for an extra 20 bucks that's just me though so and then of course there's a slideshow and then you get a diorama feature those are fun those are fine i it doesn't make me super crazy all right here comes the plot though may your heart be your guiding key picture this a black goat stashes away a letter, then orders a white goat to search for it. Is this an allegory for racism? Possibly be. Boy, I'm so excited to not understand half of this. I'm so excited. There are many possibilities. All right, he gave Sora the card. What is that going to be? Or. He's playing a prank. Or the letter has truly gone missing. I can think of several reasons offhand. Guessing is simply useless. See, that's well, my expression too, bud. Then just follow your orders, plain and simple. Yes, that's what I've always done. I follow the orders from above, without question. However... I sometimes can't help but read into my opponent's strategy. <laughs> Too long on the job? If the contents of the box are so unknown, why is it of such critical importance to the organization? Wow, I've never considered that. Furthermore, was it Xehanort or Xemnas who gave the order? Well, it's tricky. Considering they are the same person. All Xehanort cares about is the clash between the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses. It's unlikely he would hold such an interest in this mysterious box. Which means the order was issued by Xemnas. Or the one who informed me of my task, you. As if it must have been Xemnas. My inquiries suggested otherwise. Oh, man. You asked him. Who? What are your intentions? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look, I don't know what's inside the box, but it's been protected by Keyblade wielders since way back when. Aren't you curious? I heard it contains information that's vital to all Keyblade wielders. Secrets. And where did you hear this? Hmm, I don't remember. I keep my eyes and ears wide open, but I've traveled so many different places. It's hard to keep everything straight, you know? Wow, look at those Yakuza pores. 
He looks like a Yakuza render. If this box is truly as important as you say, why now? I believe you discovered that others also seek it. And you need to find it before anyone else does. In order to keep your connection to the box a secret from those around you. <laughs> Zigbar, who are you really? <sighs> <laughs> no matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. Why would it's you stop the there? I'm content to feign ignorance. All right, we've had zero answers and a dozen questions. The question is, who are you, Lutzard? Oh boy, that's the question, isn't it? Also, I've been saying his name wrong all this time. Hey, hey. Riku looks kind of out of it. It's finally over. Hmm. Hey. Okay, so right now this is post. No. Wait. We'll find Kyrie. Yeah, this is post post final Six. boss. We can figure it out. No. I know what to do. Sora! My whole journey began the day I lost her. Oh, I didn't even and put together those parallels. Her, she slips away again. Dang. I thought we'd finally be together. But she's out there. Alone. Not for one more second. Welcome to! That's right! Thank you, Donald, Goofy. But this time, I have to go it alone. Sora, listen. The power of waking isn't to go chase hearts around. Even if you do locate Kyrie, you might never come home to us again. I will. And we'll both be back before you know it. Please. Let him go, Mickey. Riku! His heart and his mind are made up. That sound clip and now look in him. are going to be used by the Mickey Riku shippers. Yeah. Safe journey, Sora. You're now thinking about Thank you. Riku Mickey shippers. As am I. So he's just using the power of waking to chase on after her. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 3. Remind. That symbol in the middle is probably some important symbol. Because of course it is. Of course it's going to be. Is that mom? Mom? Or is that mom? So? That's mom. <gasps> yeah. You working for mom? Lords off darkness. It's useful. What? Told you. So, how'd it go? Oh boy. The tour. Oh, now we're in. Okay. <laughs> Spicy spice. Here we go. I learned the reason for my existence. A smartphone game that's coming out. Oh, tell me more. That was, oh boy. All Ray Chase, you're having world. fun. People live seemingly peaceful lives. They believe themselves to be moral and virtuous. But it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. 
sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but you got a little bit more than you anticipated. You must have seen a lot of darkness. Those who are weak and who desire greater power simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. Is this dude coming down on JRPG grinding? They believe what they want to believe. Using hollow reasons as justification. Number go big. That's my justification. They repeat this cycle. And their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? No. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep pretending to be wolves. Oh, mom doesn't like this. No, I admit. Oh, wait, was that I mom or was that... Why. I don't know. Oh, never heard that one before. A keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Who are you? Because left alone, and I swear to God, if you're Demix, the world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult. More so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So, you can make a change. You have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, eh? Who knows? My training's coming to an end, and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then. You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. <sighs> it's funny. Somehow. I can sense where I'm supposed to go. He's talking about an where Android phone. Yes. Even this coat. There's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Hmm. No. You'll ditch it soon. What are they actually mean? seriously talking I mean, about the iPhone? You're going to outgrow it. Like, are they talking about that? Because I'm going to... Scream. If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me, on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Hmm. Who are you really? Okay, well he doesn't even know. Some kind of fortune teller. Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace. I swear to God, if it's Nomura himself. For its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. Okay, so voice doesn't mean what it means? Is that what I'm getting? So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. Wait, are you gonna say? My name is. Oh, great, cool, love it. There was light. I'm a lost master. Is your name literally God? Also, lost master. Lost why have I? Why have I heard master. that term before? But I don't know what it means. When did I hear the term Lost Master in Kingdom Hearts before? It's been said. Be your guiding key. Okay, so he's kind of doing the 
Xehanort walk there. Hands behind the back. I'm looking at everything. I'm just scraping for answers that I know I so okay, I'm sorry. What? What? But so funny, old man. Mind sharing with us? Does that mean that's this is now the young Master Xehanort grown up? Because, I mean, that's who he is. He's now old. Oh, my God. I stand here today because of a fated encounter. Very many years ago, when I was still a young lad, I never learned who he was, and perhaps I never will. Okay, huh, okay. But I see now the truth he spoke of. We don't have time for bedtime stories. Without the kid, we're still down a 13th vessel. And as for the other 12, only three of us are here right now. And how much of a party, huh? Are you absolutely sure the others made their way back to their respective times? Is Kingdom Hearts JoJo? Marluxia and Larxene are both here in this time. This is to just D4C. Luxerd is also somewhere about in this age. But after our last meeting, he went in search of something per your order. Isn't that so? Huh. Oh, that. Right. Well, let's just say that what he's doing will benefit us in the long run. But it's really of no importance right this second. Look, look out for that box in Kingdom Hearts 4. Playing your cards close as usual. It's literally what it's going to be. Hmm. All right. The hearts of Ansem, Xemnas, Benitas, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort returned to where they came from, and reassembled once more. Each of them is seeking a guardian of light. So, the ones who turn human, and then back again into nobodies are me, you, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene, that's five. The ones from the past transferred into replicas are Ansem, Xemnas, Vanitas, Riku Replica, and the old man's younger self. Then we add the old man in, the total comes up to 11. I think we're still missing two. Now we must discuss why we have assembled here today. My incarnations from past times, vessels into which I transferred my heart, my essence, were destroyed. Thus I was restored to what you see now. For one to completely disappear, their heart and body must be restored to their original form. That is one reason why I distributed my heart into several vessels. Ansem and Temnus originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. However, my heart has returned to me, while his is yet lost. I decided to fill this hollow vessel with my heart. Indeed, the very same heart had previously resided within young Terra. So that makes twelve. Then, who do we get to replace the kid? Twenty replicas were created by Vexen. The first twelve were nothing more than puppets, barely human. The prototype model was the Riku replica, and then number I was made. That leaves us with six. And some. They are literally Zemnus, just doing math right Benitas, now. Riku They're like, replica, we got to do the numbers on this Zemnus to make talks. thirteen. Five vessels, one left. 
Vex and Endemics are candidates, but backups at best. The plan for the last replica is to give it a heart that is connected to Sora's. Connected to Sora? <laughs> Take your pick. In mind? There's a ton of them. The second prototype that was created, number I. Though erased from memory, it remained in Vexen's records. Its existence is greatly linked to Sora's memories, and thus should prove to be more than adequate for our needs. I don't know how I feel about them unretconning number I. she on there, because an imaginary number. How fitting. Oh God, it totally is, isn't it? While young Zayn there was there was a bit of a you know. Hearts. An important thing for her being removed from canon, but ah well. Reliable as always. It sounds to me like you've got everything dependably under control. Well, I'm off to do my part. The plan, as we agreed upon. I need a flow chart. I truly do. May your heart be your guiding key. So like that line was taught to him by was taught to him by mom. Okay. All right. Okay. Because then he taught it to everyone else. Okay, okay, okay. I think... I think I get it. A bit. Just a touch. Are we going to run into Kari from Digimon again? Huh? This is... Hi, Laura Jill Miller. Chirithi. Back so soon? <sighs> What's wrong? Well... Here's the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3, he explains. <laughs> Even with the power of waking... You can't just bring someone back. No, shut up. But I'm Kyrie's Sora. Heart hasn't been lost yet. She's still with us, right? Maybe, but this time, I'm afraid the situation is a lot worse. Hey, I've already restored six hearts. What's one more? But that's not how it's supposed to work at all. No, but shut up. I'm Sora, he says. Of waking is meant to be used to wake and restore sleeping hearts. Not to restore them after they've completely faded away from existence. You've done that six times before. And as a result, you've managed to greatly alter the course of history itself. Aw, oh, cool. You've broken a nature taboo. Aw, oh, sick. Nature. We broke a time laws. Break a taboo of nature, and you'll end up paying an extraordinary price. Oh. I've heard that before. Yo, in Kingdom Hearts 1, so they're like, the Donald price? was like, Sora, we can't break the time-space continuum. You won't and here we are, doing that and facing that's the consequences. All. No problem. But that's not all. You yourself will vanish from this world. And without your powers, you can't return to the world you came from. I don't care. What? There's a lot I don't understand. But I know that this is all I can do right now. I have to do everything I can to get Kyrie back. That's the whole reason behind my journey. <sighs> I can't stop you, can I? No, shut up. I'm Sora. Nope. I have to follow my heart. <sighs> well... Then this really is goodbye. So listen carefully to me. Hmm. 
You'll return to the past again. But you won't be able to rewrite it this time. No matter what happens, you have to accept it. Ah, uh, okay. I see how this works as DLC. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, objective, get Kyrie back. So we got all our stuff. Abilities. We're all good there. It's the same stuff as before. Cuisine. Let's eat some good stuff. Eat the meal. Yum, yum. Delicioso. Uh, items. I mean, we got the Koopa coin. I'm not super worried. A few bonuses. We're good. All right. Let's go. Is everybody okay? The heart you have now. It already on, existed during that time. It went back into that past earlier. Nothing can change that fact. The place where you'll return is the tear in the fabric of time that was created when you changed your destiny, then changed it once again. Oh boy, we chrono trigger. From the true power of waking, you'll enter and pass through the hearts of the guardians until you reach Kyrie's heart. Every emotion that each of the guardians felt sadness, anxiety, fear, kindness, everything they saw, and everything that they felt then, you'll clear a way through it, traverse across their hearts, and dive ever deeper inside. I can't be sure what's waiting for you at the end. Or what you'll actually be able to do. But by following the connection of hearts, you'll come to discover a greater truth. One that's sure to help you. But in this flow of time in the past, you'll only have up until the moment you left for this place. So you'll have to find and restore Kyrie's heart before then. Please don't mean that's a time limit. That's all the advice I can give you. Beyond that, I can only say, may your heart be your guiding key. Oh my god, Doctor Strange. <laughs> this is Ven's heart. Well, he's comatose again. Cool. Ben! Ben! <sighs> what? The fact it's not voiced makes me really curious. Who are you? Darkness. Oh my god, if Sephiroth appears, I'm gonna Anita's? scream. Oh, hey, it's the bonus boss. I guess we gotta fight you first, huh? Alright. Hi there. Guess what? Uh, this part one of this Let's Play uh, got some corrupted footage, so this and the other fight had to be done in post-commentary. Now, this fight was actually re-recorded by me, which is good because I do much better in the re-recorded fight. You're not missing too much from me anyways, other than going, ooh, wow, that's cool, and cool, I'm getting these hits in, and let's end this stylishly, so you're not missing too much. Uh, the good news is all the cutscenes I re-recorded as well, and re-synced my original audio footage, so while this is a new commentary here, uh, I do have uh, the original commentaries for me reacting to cutscenes, and this is limited to part one, so don't worry. Things will hopefully be better 
uh, afterwards. I think what it is is in the next fight, there is a attraction that just utterly destroyed my capture card. As in, like, there was so many particle effects and everything that it couldn't do it. So, don't worry, we're fighting this dude now. He's actually not too bad. I fought him, like, four times now. He's pretty easy, doesn't hit too hard. And as long as you're doing your, uh, your Oath Keeper form, you can rip roar right into him, and it's pretty fun, actually. Uh, so yeah. Uh, these, these fights, this fight and the next fight are future Tanner. And, uh, then you go back to past Tanner for the cutscene, so... Are you confused yet? Don't worry, it's fine. This is how you would make Kingdom Hearts into a Let's Play. So anyways, uh, we get an item slot, and here comes back to past Tanner. It's from the mobile game? The e e Ephemerer? No man. That's it. So that's present Sora, or that's past Sora, but present Sora is right now entering Ven. Good job, Lee. Axel. Oh right, remember when Donald casted the strongest Final Fantasy magic of all time? No. Donald, no. That's still the most buckwild part of, of Kingdom Hearts 3. Donald Duck casting Zeta level flare magic up there stronger than any version of Bahamut to ever exist. God, I love this series. So is this going to be basically the exact same, but we go between the characters or something? Okay, so we just is transferred. Aqua's heart? Okay. Ven's heart was so peaceful. But this... This... Is fear. This can't be real. Huh? Oh. Huh. Oh, pull it together, Sora. We haven't lost them. They still have their hearts. But... We have to protect them. Right. <laughs> we stand together. <clears throat> so Sora's like right now Mickey, hanging out in Kyrie, in a little aqua boob, right? The others. God, I wish that was me. No, we should all get to safety while we still can. It's too late for that. Uh. So are we just gonna redo like the 0 0.2 final boss? No, because I guess it's quite a bit bigger, huh? No. 
What? <laughs> That's the dream, boys! Oh my god! It's a waifu tornado! Holy crap! I've never wanted something more in my life. So, this is the fear and despair that Aqua feels. And now, I feel it too. Ah, uh, empathy! God, that is sick! No, I want to do the waifu version. God, you are the best design. Oh, we're doing this? Much like how this DLC features time travel, so too does this Let's Play, because you see, uh, my footage corrupted, uh, and in a way that I couldn't really salvage it. Um, but the good news is, everything after this for the rest of this episode is cutscenes, so I just have to re-record them and sync up my old audio, and you get my blind reactions. However, this here is not the blind reaction to my original fight. This is a redone fight. It's actually like my fourth time I've done this so far because my footage kept corrupting, which is not fun. But uh, the good news is this is a fun fight, especially with this new form because this form is a lot of fun. Come on, come on in. Haha, -ha, fools can't touch me. Uh, also, redoing the first fight, they have more powers, the, the Dark Inferno there. And, uh, more importantly, we can get a pirate ship here in this hilarious, you know, section where you fight Dark Aqua. You get to hit her with the power of Disneyland for a brief small reminder that, yes, Disney is in this game. Uh, so that's fun. I sure hope my footage doesn't get corrupted a fourth time, resulting in this being just another attempt at me recording this. Anyways, I didn't even need to go into double form 0kp. So let's hope that the footage doesn't corrupt this time. That is still a really good scream. You gotta get them screams in, and sometimes it's tough to get a good scream, but yo, Haley Joel Osmond, you did a good scream. So, okay. Timeline. How do they go about this? I truly wonder. I know that you're not him. Now let our friend go! Did I... Did I pass through the tear? You're, you're back at yourself. Hey! How's it going, Naminé? <laughs> Naminé? Hi! What are you doing here? Have you lost yourself, like I did? Well, it's a long story. But <laughs> tell me, why haven't you returned to Kyrie's heart yet? <sighs> Wait, hey, hold up, why are we back 13. here now? What? Today okay. is the day you all lose. That's my what? question. Before you even face the Thirteen, every last one of you will be torn heart from body. But fear not. The Keyblade will still be forged. 
because I'm still not able to. But I'm calling out to Tara's heart, and I brought him here. Okay. Tara. That. No, Tara's heart is too. Oh, that explains a little bit. Instead, I've brought out Tara's most personal and powerful thoughts. This is Tara's. Oh, you're so cool. Anger. Lament. Tara's thoughts. We're not going to lose to you. Okay, so R Remind Sora also is experiencing the time reset. Okay, sure. I might have missed that detail. Anyways, you're so cool. Who are you? Got you. Ah, Lingring Will, you're so cool. You're the coolest character named Will in any media ever. That's the joke. Is his name is Will, and he lingers. This is impossible. How I've waited for this moment. Like, just getting a previous game's... I think I said this last time. But getting a previous game's, like, super powerful bonus boss to come in as a striker is rad! I like how he dies in the same way, just this time it doesn't have, uh, you know, Donald's death. Okay, that was an abnormal cut. You can see where one game ends and the real game begins, you know? Also, hi, Dragon Ball Z! Holy crap, that's so cool! It's so needlessly cool! Wretched spirit. As long as Master Xehanort resides within you, you're a threat to Aqua and Ven. How noble. You would give your life for theirs? You must be removed from existence. At all costs. Remember that this is Disney. I've forgotten. Can you call out to Terra? No, his rage is too strong. He won't respond to me. No matter who gets hurt, it's bad for Terra. Either way, you have to leave. Go to the world of ocean and sky. And you? I got this. Okay, uh, he's, he's literally just star platinuming him. This is the best. This is so good. This is the best. No, don't break the helmet. It looks cool. Be gone. No, shut up. It's fine. I'm hey, Sora. I can travel to different times too, you know. Did you think you were the only one with that power? You dare. Oh, 
that's so cool! Oh, I hate how cool this is! But what if, what if no. Terra's armor then grafted itself to Sora? Oh. <laughs> the path of DLC. Seeing that you have also taken the forbidden Also, you path, too? You too huh. must be ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. Okay. Uh, this DLC is going way longer than I expected. So I'm going to give this a sick pa Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Guardian. Uh, I'm going to take a sick pause here and say next time we'll fight uh, Terranort. So we'll see you then for that. More Kingdom Hearts Remind coming up pretty quickly. Ciao, guys.